Hey everybody, welcome back to Medicrafts. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Today we have a small mock, but a fun one, using some of the projects that we've been using in the last couple videos to make this mock, and I think it looked really, really good. This didn't take very long, but the tricks that I've used on this one with the ground texture is actually really nice and basically free. So if you learned anything from this video and you enjoyed this video, don't, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let's get right into it. All right, so this is me testing out kind of the size that I want for this mock. So I grabbed a piece of styrofoam, I just started cutting, and that's what I do with a lot of my projects. I just kind of go like a flow. I'm squaring this thing off right here, and now I'm making a pillar. And this pillar is kind of similar to the ones that are in the actual game, but I wanted to make something for the Marine to kind of have some cover behind, like he's holding some kind of ground, so I decided to make this. This was super simple and super easy, but I think it adds a little bit more character and a little bit more detail to the piece. These are extra pieces of styrofoam that I cut and angle cutted into this shape. And I am just placing this for when I put the flocking on, um, it's going to look like dirt or like the earth is on a different uh, level. And this is just my black coat of paint. I do this with pretty much everything I do. Makes it so if you miss a spot, then it's easy to recover and you don't have to really stress out or worry about it. And then we're adding school glue or white PVA glue. We're adding this all over the piece so when I add my grass, then it's going to stick to it and uh, here's the grass itself. What the grass actually is, is just sawdust with some paint that I mixed in. And then I'm adding more different shades of grass to so the Kind of a brighter green and uh, I'm gonna add some yellow and this just adds a little bit more depth and detail to the piece and I think the sawdust actually turned out really really nicely I've never used that before so I was happy that it actually turned out really well and I really like how that looks now this is the pillar the pillars are this you know flood kind of color this sand color so we're gonna add that to the piece of styrofoam and then we will be applying it to this piece. These are some small branches that I had outside that are just on a little like pine tree next to my uh, yard. I just clipped these off and somewhere on the ground um, just to add a little bit more character to the piece. Added the pillar, made uh, the toothpick for the small covenant form that I put on there. He can't stand on his own very easily, so I figured just putting him on a little black toothpick would cover him up well. Adding the infection form and then placing on the marine right after. That's all for this mock. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for tuning in. Alright guys, so that's it. That is the mock itself. I think it turned out really, really cool. I really like the um, the back hunter, or the back flood tank. And I kind of like the story that it's telling that this marine is holding down this area by himself against the flood and he's gonna fight till his last breath to really protect this. And I think that's kind of cool. You know, between these two mocks right now, obviously this one's a little bit more detailed but this one I think tells a better story and they both tell really good stories in my eyes but if you guys enjoyed this content I really uh, appreciate it if you stuck away stuck through this whole thing till now and thank you so much for tuning in every single view I get every single time I get to see someone's comment anything like that you know it brightens up my day it means that you know I'm doing something that someone's gonna care about that someone wants to come back to and watch and I think that's really cool. So if you have any ideas in the comment section down below for what I should do next, let me know and I'll see you guys next time. Enjoy the rest of your day or whatever time it is. See ya.